All right guys, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to implement button groups with Tailwind CSS. So right over here, I have an example for you straight from the documentation of Bootstrap. This is how they implement a button group. So button group is basically few buttons that look uh, one as a whole. So they look uh, a part of a bigger uh, control basically. So to implement this in Tailwind CSS, let's see. So right over here, I just have some base classes added to aid in our development process. You don't need to care about them a lot right now. So this is just the, just the div that will hold a button group. And now we need three buttons in here. One button for left, one for middle, and next one for right. Cool. And now you save them, text will show up over here, but you can't see, you guys might not be able to see it right now because it's dark text over a dark background. So I'm going to use the multiple cursor thing and add a background to all of these buttons. And as you saw in the previous video, we can add a background by just saying BG hyphen the color from the color palette. So I'm adding a background of blue 300 to all of these. And then you can add a little bit of uh, horizontal padding by PX and then specifying the padding and similar for vertical padding by saying PY and specifying the padding. All right, now that we have that sorted, uh, let's just add a little border to each of these. Ah, uh, yeah, I spelled that wrong. So yeah, we have added a border to all of these. Now, now you see there's some space between these buttons. So to bring them closer, we can use negative margin on the left and right button. So negative margin basically will bring the left button closer to the middle button. And how you do that in Tailwind CSS is, you say hyphen margin right hyphen two. So let me break this down. This hyphen stands for negative and then MR stands for margin right. And then by, with, along with the hyphen, you just signify uh, specify how much margin right do you want to add. So you see this sticks up closer. And for the right button, we need to add a negative margin to the left side. So we add a margin left too, and this happens. Now, what I want to do is uh, make these side buttons rounded. So I can basically come over here on the first button and say rounded, let's say LG. Uh, nah, let's leave it at rounded. And right over here, we can also add rounded. But now it isn't visible from that, this distance, but I'll zoom up for, for you guys to see because uh, these have a negative margin to this, uh, to left and right button. So this stacking up and below the middle button. So because middle, buttons co middle button comes after the left one, left button is going under the middle one, but right button is going above the middle button. So we could solve this by adding, uh, you know, Z index to the left, but uh, to the middle button to have it more than right. But there's another solution. You can simply come up over here and say rounded, L zero on the right button to change the border radius to zero. And I don't think that did the trick rounded L none. Yeah, that worked. So you can basically specify the border radius for one side as well and say none. And this trades up now. Now the next step, as you noticed over here as well, whenever you hover over a button, it's supposed to show some kind of feedback, right? So, uh, to each of these buttons, I'll add one. So I'm just going to use multiple cursor if this works. Yeah, to make our life easier. So look closely on the first one. We can say hover and then a colon. So what this will do is whatever class we apply after the hover colon, that will only be applicable when the button is being hovered over. So let's say BG blue 500. I've added that class to all three buttons. So if I hover over them, it shows us a dark blue sort of background. Cool. Yeah, so that's it for the hover states. And to end this video, I just want to add a little border color to like specify the border color for each of these. I'll say border gray 200, let's say. I'm going to increase that to 400 and I'll add this to each of the 
button yeah yeah so the border is a little dimmed down now and i agree the colors are in the best but the idea was implementing this correctly and you guys can go ahead and tweak around the colors because all the code for this video is going to be in the description and i've got a whole lot more coming up for this tailwind tutorial series so definitely subscribe and just drop a like if you found this video helpful and tell me in the comments how i could make it better just give me some sort of feedback for this thank you guys